Holly and welcome to the Proper Pineapple, a crochet and knitting podcast. This is episode number 49 and for all of my new viewers, thank you so much for stopping by and checking me out. You can find me pretty much everywhere on the internet. All the links are down below in the description box to all the places you can find me. Um, and if you are returning, thanks so much for always sticking around. You guys know that we're like just a big pineapple family around here and we just love everybody. <laughs> um, I don't have much to show this week, you guys. I'm really sad about that because I've just been super busy like with other stuff. I have been working on two projects, but I just feel like I haven't gotten anything done with them. I did, uh, I don't know where it is. I don't know, I don't know where it is, guys. I did crochet a doll head. <laughs> I gotta find it because it's for my mother. She ordered it all, and so I have to make it for her, but you guys will get to see it, of course. I'm having a crazy hair. This piece right here, this, just sticks out all the time. So I, and I can't do nothing about it. <laughs> That's crazy. Whatever, right? That's how we roll here on the proper pineapple. So I'm gonna show you my quick projects. Uh, if you hear the noise of the cars going by, um, it's very busy today, I don't know why. You guys look at my earrings, can you see them? This one's a little gumball machine and this one's a bunch of gumballs. So adorable, aren't they? So, so cute. Anywho, I'm going to show you the two projects. You guys have been talking about them for a few weeks now, so hopefully one of them will be done next week. And then I'm going to show you two projects I pulled out of my old whips bucket that I'm totally going to get working on very, very soon. So the first project I want to show you is this one. It's in a uh, bag by Chasing Acorns. She doesn't make bags anymore. Sadness. We miss you. This is my squared ruffled shawl. Um, again, if you guys want anything I talk about, there will be a link to my Ravelry page. <laughs> Ravelry page. And on my Ravelry page, you'll be able to go to my projects and you'll be able to see, you'll get all the links. Because like um, for this one, if you go to my Ravelry page, go to my projects, then you go to the squared ruffled shawl, you click on it, it will then have a link to take you to the actual pattern. So that is how you can get there easiest. Squared ruffled shawl. I am using a D, yeah, a D. Sorry, lighting's in here, not that great. A D crochet hook from Touche Crochet. Look at that, so pretty, pretty. Oh gosh, so funny. <laughs> okay, you guys, I am using basically this cake of yarn right here. It's a Yarn Bee uh, Rainbow Rhapsody in the color Peacock. I have I had two of them, which is why I picked this up. I'm gonna show you this super quickly, and I will talk way more about it next week because I should have it finished, but here we go. See all the squared ruffles? Hence the name, the squared ruffled shawl. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's so big. It's all twisted because when I stuff it in the bag, we're still pulling here. There you go, that's a good representation of most of the colors. And I'm still working here. You can see that's, maybe that's the string. Yeah, down here is where my stitch marker, it's a little leaf. It's a me made stitch marker. And so there's the other end. Um, this pattern is really unique because your shawl, basically this is the deepest part of my shawl. That's as deep as it gets, right? Just a little bit, but it gets ridiculously long. So hopefully this will be done soon. I'm really excited to finish it. The, like I said, there's gotta be a, a couple hundred stitches on my like row now. It used to take me an hour to get across the row and now it's taking me two hours to get across the row and so you just keep going basically going and going 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 so i only have let me show you what's left of the cake i'm pretty excited because i am close that's why i tell you i think i'll be done by next week here it is i have a little bit of this bluey black and then some black maybe three more rows but again that's a couple hours worth of work you guys i'm so excited though i can't wait to get this done because I don't like, if it starts to languish, the chances of me putting it over in the forever bucket <laughs> is pretty good. So, going to get working on this one. Hopefully going to have a finished object to show you next week since I don't have any finished objects this week. Sorry. Okay, now this one is in a project bag doo -doo -doo -doo, by uh, Deborah of um, Heavenly Textiles. I follow her on Instagram. So if you, sorry, I got hair sticking out everywhere. Mm, whatever guys this is day two hair yesterday I did it all nice for church and then today I was just like eh, just clip it up it's fine so day two hair is a little frizzy sorry 
So Heavenly Textiles, she's on Instagram. You can, if you go to my Instagram link down below, go to who I follow, you'll find Heavenly Textiles. And it's this beautiful, beautiful uh, Deluxe DK Tweed Superwash by Universal Yarns. It is a superwash, 90% superwash, 7% acrylic, and 3% viscose in the color olive. There's the tag. That's just gonna get, there's the tag. That's the tag, here's the yarn. I have tons of this. It's so pretty. It's looking a little lime, but it's not. See, okay, okay, there you go, that's more real. My shirt is lime green, and this is a very nice olive, like a dark olive, but like a bright dark olive. That's more the color right there, not, that's looking neon. <laughs> and I guess I should tell you what this is. This is um the, Guys, how come I can't remember that what it is? I well, I do remember what it is, but I feel like I'm going to say the name wrong. So I'm just gonna go to my Ravelry products and get you the name correctly. Because the Wrap Me Up Sweater Scarf by Knititude. Okay, and so I can't. I'm sorry. I want to get it out, but I don't want to lose any stitches. So I'm not good enough to pick up stitches yet. So basically, you knit a sleeve knit across and knit another sleeve and you have this really cool wrappy sweater thingy and okay my yarn is wrapped all around it so i finished my sleeve last week and i was right here see where my beautiful unicorn stitch marker my best friend al got me that when we were in chicago for the stitches west event okay so i was right there last week when i showed you so i have knit all the way up to here all the way up to there so excited I am using my blush 3.5 millimeter short tip um, Luca needles. I used to call them Licky, but I have been corrected. They are Luca. And I love it so much. I'm just knitting around and it's so comfortable. Now, I'll ask your guys this advice if you guys are knitters. So I'm a fairly new knitter. Fairly new, right? And my stitches are just a tad bit wonky. I'm trying to get it so I can show you. Uh, can you see how like some of these like these guys are sticking out a bit down here some that are sticking out do you think that's gonna block out should I not stress too much I mean I'm a new knitter like over here guys look at this guy see this these like three stitches for some reason got like ridiculously blown out I've got no idea why so I'm hoping that if I block it it's gonna look a little like less wonkety but to be honest I don't really care I'm a new knitter and I don't expect everything to be perfect, but I do love, look at that beautiful tweed fabric there. I think this is going to be gorgeous in the fall. I know it's the spring and I'm hitting a big wrap shawl thingy, but I don't care. I'm still going to make it because I love it so, so much. It's so beautiful, you guys. Look at that. I made a whole sleep. I never thought I was going to make it through this ribbing section. It's that long of ribbing. I'm not going to say how much because it is the paid for pattern, but it's a lot of ribbing. So I'm super excited about this, you guys. So, 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 so excited. So that's my only two projects I've been actively working on, aside from the doll head I made that I can't find, that you guys don't, I mean, it's just a doll head. I made it with um, cotton yarn. <laughs> Nothing super duper special. Okay, I got two projects to show you. I'm trying to get, let me get back, I'm sorry. I am looking for a pattern here because I want to get you the correct name of the pattern and the correct person who makes said pattern because of, you know, I'll know here in a second. Yes, there we go. That's why. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is in this adorable bag that was a present to me from Laura um, of Homefire Ridge, but actually her new, Homefire Ridge is her private account now, and now her bag making account is called um, antler and pine and she just does let me put it over here okay stunning look at that oh I have two bags from her and I love them both so dearly I I just adore these bags they're just stunning okay and so this pattern is called I'm getting I'm reading here it's called the hexy puff is it the crochet hexy puff no just the honeycomb hexy puff by Cheryl Peer. And she is um, the ginger you, ginger 
Ginger E W E on Etsy. And I believe that's what she is on Instagram too. But again, I follow her so you can go look it up. If I, and basically, if you ever saw the um, knitted honeycomb puff blanket, this is a crocheted version. And I started working on this forever ago, guys. And I had made basically, it's all, it's all wrinkled, but I, I had sewn enough together to get like one floral thingy. My intention is to keep making them and adding them to the outside until I get a big blanket. I chose not to stuff mine. You can stuff these to make them puffy. And I chose not to stuff mine. I don't know why, but it's, it's very dense fabric. It's very dense, but it is a two ply thing. See, I can pull it apart. I love it so, so much. So this one I've talked about on the channel before, all of these little pieces I have talked about and what they are. See, like, see, and it's done. Okay, so now she does it in a different stitch. She does it in what they call the knit stitch or the, is it the waist coast stitch? I don't know. But I really just wanted single crochet. I, I That's all I wanted was single crochet. So um, I adapted her pattern because it wasn't hard to do that part. And I'm just doing it in single crochet because I wanted the look of single crochet. But so all of these guys are just amazing. So I have a few more puffs made. Some of these are older. Some of these are newer. Uh, most of these are from, let me see here. This one, okay, hold on guys. They're all, look at this. This is all the puffs I have here. This one, uh, this one, not that one. This one, this one, this one. This is so fun for you guys, isn't it? That one, that one, that one. Okay. Okay. These are all from my yarn advent calendar for 2020. 2020. So I'll show you them all kind of. There's this bluey pink that I love. There is this one, which just pretty and the advent calendar was from wooly mama yarns you guys know that in 2021 i got an advent calendar from her too uh this one i adore so pretty i leave all the tails i'll tell you why i leave the tails this one so pretty my daughter loves this one it's like this burnt orange it's more that color there so pretty we got this pink with a little bit of speckles this one is one of my favorites Oh, I love it, guys. See that right there? There we go. Is it so pretty? And then, okay, this one might be one of my favorites, too. I love that. And both sides are different. Those ones were all from my advent calendar. Now, these ones are all from, these three are all from projects. This one, I cannot remember the name of the yarn, but I know the brand. It was from uh, Mint Rain Yarns, and I made the uh, frothed milk cowl with this a few years ago and so if you go to my Ravelry and you look at that it'll tell you the exact colorway number but or name but this was the um a gift from my best friend Al the color and it's so pretty I love it in this and then like I said I knitted a cowl with it and I love it knit and I love it crocheted it was so pretty that was that one this one was holly bait look at that it's like hot pink and purple that is my one of my colors from Iron Wheel Farms, who is currently taking a break from dyeing, so I understand that. But um, I'm actually using this in Andrea Maui's Birds of a Feather. So I had a little bit, and I threw in one of these guys. And then, this one is one of my favorites. And you guys, I am drawing a blank on her name right now, which is making me have a heart attack because I've been following her forever. Oh man, what is the name of the dyer? I watch her all the time. She does, hmm. Ow, ow, ow. Ah, there it is. So sorry guys, so sorry, no blink. This yarn is by Shirsty Cat, and this is her colorway Purple Rain on my Raspberry Beret, and I love it. Look at the depth of purples in that. It's just stunning. I'm sorry, I'm holding it funny. Stunningly beautiful. Look at that. I knit a, um, it was a, a staircase shawl by Dragon Horde Yarns for my pastor's wife, my pastor in Texas's wife. 
and when it, it's just oh I love this so much so this one is one of my favorites so now I don't know if I have quite enough to go all the way around but I've got all these guys to go on to this guy <laughs> so the reason there's tails is to attach them I just use the tails sorry there's a piece of my hair on this now I use the tails to attach the pieces so I can't wait till this is one gigantic blanket I can just snuggle with it. it's gonna be so warm you guys but I'm gonna keep working on it now that I dug it out I want to say I am using um I don't have the hook in there because I had taken the hook out to work on a project so give me two seconds here oh yep here we go perfect all right go back to my thing it should tell me I'm using my 3.5 millimeter hook and I know I'm using my 3.5 from Touche Crochet so I don't have it to show you but I know that's what I'm using so that is this project that I'm going to start working on more and basically the idea of this project this is an extremely long-term project my plan is to every time I have um fingering weight extras I'm just going to make a little square it only takes like two grams to make a square and then I'll just keep doing that so I have some more I still have not made all of the advent calendar but I will this project is in a me made bag this is one of my bags I made it was like a scrappy one it's got some kitty cats and some other fun stuff and this one is hilarious because this is a design that I'm working on it's a beautiful crescent a crescent shawl made with fingering weight yarn it is crochet I started this back at in summertime last year and somehow it got lost in the just transitioning from moving from the camper to the apartment blah 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 and I forgot all about it and so then I found it and I was like yes I totally want to make this and finish this pattern and get it out for my viewers yes and you know what I just I forgot everything about it I don't even remember what I was doing so I have this much of it made this much Ugh. this is the first color it's white with yellows and blues and purples this is from iron wheel farms I don't this did not have, it was an unnamed colorway and the other two colors I'm going to be using in it are from Malabrigo I have this beautiful Frank ochre colorway and this gorgeous deep navy from them I can't remember the name of this one I'm gonna have to look it up guys so these two colors will be in the shawl with this which I just love right don't you guys love that so at the moment, I have to figure out what I was doing. I don't remember what hook I was using. I don't remember nothing. So got to find my notes and get started. But I'm hoping to have this shawl done soon and out to testers so that I can have it released very soon. I already have a name for it. I'm not going to tell you guys. I'm super excited. But So that's pretty much all I got going on right now. Not, you know, boring. So much has been going on. We're super, super busy with homeschool and just the other stuff going on in our life. Um... I'm very excited because as you guys know here in the next week or so it's gonna be April and it will be my birthday month you guys know I love my birthday and I have quite a few giveaways planned for April I don't want to give anything away because it's all a surprise but let's just say I wouldn't miss any videos in April because there will be giveaways and um, yeah there'll be giveaways for my YouTube viewers and there'll be giveaways for my YouTube members so Plenty of giveaways for everybody for the month of April because it is my birthday month and I'm super excited. So I'm going to get out of here now and I'll see you all later. Like I said, don't miss any videos in April. You don't want to do that. It's giveaway month, okay? <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye.